Hey, this is Coach Boydston, and in this screencast, we're going to be looking at plant response. So, how do plants respond to a stimulus? Well, and you can see the definition up here to the right. Um, it's actually tropism. So, what is a tropism? It's just a plant movement towards or away from a stimulus. So, to understand this definition a little better, I want to give you a little insight into this word. This first part of the word, trope, actually comes from the word tropos, which means turn to. And so really, we could take our definition here, and we could take the word movement, and we could just substitute it with turn. So plants turn towards or away from a stimulus. And so a tropism is just that. It's when plants turn towards or away from a stimulus. And you can see in this picture down here at the bottom, we have a plant, and it is actually turning towards a stimulus, which is the sun. So it's turning towards the sun, which is the stimulus. That brings up one last thing here about this definition. Um, we have towards and away. When a plant moves towards a stimulus, we call it a positive tropism. When it moves away from a stimulus, we would call it a negative tropism. So in this case here with this plant, it is growing towards the stimulus of the sun, so we would call that a positive tropism. All right, so let's talk about them. We've got three main ones we're going to talk about today. So let's take a look at our first one. The first one here is phototropism. And I got a little uh, animation I'm going to show you here. But first of all, let's look up here at the word. We know photo means light. We studied that with photosynthesis. We just learned that trope means turn to. So this is a tropism, a response of plants where they are turning to the light. All right, so if you look at this example here, I'll just let this play for you. You can see these plants here. They are just wanting to grow, and they're bending and turning towards that stimulus of the light. So this is a positive phototropism. And so you can see here how they're bending their stems just to get more light for their leaves. And obviously if we took this light and we moved it over here to the left, then these plants would all just shift and they would move and they would start bending over there to the left right there towards that light. So phototropism is turning towards the light. The next one that we have is called geotropism. And if we look up here, again, just to explain the word, this first part here, geo, actually means earth. So again, trope means turn to, so turn to the earth. This is sometimes called gravity tropism, meaning that gravity goes down, and so when things grow down, they are positively geotropism or gravity tropism. All right, if something is growing up against gravity or away from the earth, we would call that a negative geotropism. So let's watch this little example here. We have some seeds germinating. You see some roots going down, and you see the shoots coming up through the dirt and extending up. And so what two things we have going on? We actually have positive and negative geotropism going on. So if you look at my shoot right here, this shoot is actually going up against gravity or away from the earth. So this would be a negative geotropism. Whereas the roots down here at the bottom, they're actually moving down towards the earth or with gravity. So we would call that a positive geotropism. Now, we're not covering it necessarily in this screencast, but there are some other tropisms. Um, like roots will grow towards water, which we call hydrotropism. And so hydro meaning water. And so obviously roots have a positive hydrotropism. They want to grow towards water. But here, geotropism. you got negative and positive going on. The last one we're going to talk about is thigmotropism. So look up here at our word. Thigmo actually comes from the word thigma, which means touch. And we know trope by now that it means turn to. So this means to turn towards something that it's touching. So again, most plants are going to have a positive thigmotropism. It is possible for them to move away from something that touches them. That would be a negative uh, thigmotropism. This example I'm going to have you watch here is actually a positive. You'll watch this little tendril. It makes contact right here. And then it is continuing to wrap and move towards what it is touching. And so this is a positive thigmotropism. Thigmo meaning touch. So that's our three main types. And so that brings me to this point here. All right, so why are these things moving? This brings me to my Star Wars example. If you don't know what Star Wars is, one, first of all, I'm sorry for you. All right, secondly, I will do a quick rundown. Um, what causes these responses in plants is predominantly these hormones. And so I want to use phototropism as an example to show you how these hormones work. And so in this case, I'm talking about auxin is the name of the hormone. 
So here's my little rundown of Star Wars if you don't know what Star Wars is or, or what goes on with that story. It's basically a story of good versus evil. And in this story, Anakin Skywalker, now I called him Anakin, you can see right here, Oxen Skywalker. All right, Oxen is the hormone, and it's actually a hormone that causes cells to elongate. So obviously if cells are elongating, it's going to cause the plant to grow. And so in this case, grow towards the light, right? Because this is phototropism. But Anakin, who is our oxen, he's our hormone in this example, um, he was strong in the force is what they would call. But we had basically good and evil. We had a dark side of the force and a light side of the force. At this young age, he wasn't uh, tainted in any way. Now, as he got a little older, he wanted to be a Jedi, which was on the light side of the force. Good guys, not the bad guys. Um, but he was presented with the option of the dark side, and he started to give in to those evil thoughts, and he actually became one of the greatest villains in uh, all of sci-fi, which is Darth Vader. So our poor Anakin chose the dark side. And I use this example because oxen, the hormone, is going to choose the dark side of the plant when it comes to m movement, which is going to help us bend this plant towards the light. So let's actually look at our example. So Anakin originally, remember, he was a good guy. Now when the sun is directly above a plant, Anakin Oxen Skywalker, our oxen, our hormone, is even di evenly distributed down both sides of our plant. And I just told you that this hormone causes those cells to elongate. So if the cells are elongating on both sides of the plant, that plant's going to grow straight up. All right, so it's growing right towards the light. And there really is no dark side of the plant when the sun's directly above the plant. Now, if that sun moves to one side, all right, so it goes all the way over to the other side, then what happens is now we have a dark side over here on the left side of the plant, and we have a light side on the right. And we know what Anakin Oxen Skywalker chose. He chose to become Darth Vader and move to the dark side of the plant. And so by Oxen, our Anakin Oxen Skywalker moving to the dark side, um, it causes all of these cells on the dark side to elongate. And so if the cells on the dark side are elongating, it's going to bend that plant towards the sun or towards the stimulus here, which is the light. And so uh, let me bring up one that's probably a little easier maybe to understand if you don't understand Star Wars. But just remember, oxen moves to the dark side, just like our boy Anakin. All right, so if you're looking here, the sun's directly above. The, the tip of the chute is going to release this hormone. And again, because the sun's directly above, it releases it equally down both sides of the cell, elongating the cells on both sides. So that plant goes straight up. But when presented with light to the side, and we have a light side and a dark side, that oxen gets distributed down the dark side of the plant. And then so that oxen moves to the dark side, elongating those cells. And in doing so, it bends that plant towards the light. And so uh, hopefully that was helpful on how hormones help uh, bend the light there. But um, this was just plant responses. So how do plants respond to a stimulus? We call them tropisms. It's just turning towards or away from a stimulus. So I'm Coach Boyston. Hopefully that was helpful. You guys have a good day.